Hello and welcome everyone to the week ahead commodity report where we of course will be reviewing the markets for the week ahead. So as we go into next week, what do you need to be aware of? Well, of course, last week we had the most highly anticipated FOMC meeting of 2021, quite possibly the most important monetary policy decision in Jerome Powell's career took place last Wednesday with Fed officials beginning to talk about the potential for two rate hikes in 2023. So we are identified the FOMC meeting in detail on our previous commodity reports as one of the biggest market moving events of the month which traders will not want to miss out on and it was a classic textbook trading opportunity which played out exactly as we predicted so to hike or not to hike was the biggest question facing the Federal Reserve and there was always going to be two very clear outcomes if the Fed finally acknowledged rising inflation as a concern and hinted at the idea of hiking rates then a market-wide correction was the most obvious outcome to expect on the flip side however if the Fed continued to play down rising inflation exactly as they had been doing throughout this year, then a market-wide rally was the only outcome, exactly as we've seen on many of the previous FOMC statements already this year. So last week, we saw the former play out in response to the Fed suggesting the possibility of two rate hikes in 2023. Fed Chair Jerome Powell also very clearly stated that their forecast should be taken with a significant grain of salt. They haven't actually done anything but just talk about it as a possibility. Basically, the markets have been distracted by the narrative of higher interest rates and they seem to have completely ignored the fact that any potential hikes are at least two years away and a lot can, of course, happen over the course of two years. If you look back at the bigger picture, fundamentally, nothing has really changed. The Federal Reserve has reiterated that it will keep interest rates near zero until 2023. It will continue with its massive quantitative and stimulus easing programs, whilst all also allowing inflation to run hotter than its traditional 2% goal for some time yet. At the same time, Joe Biden's administration continues to pursue its ambitious green energy and infrastructure spending programs, with a further $6 trillion in stimulus on the way, which once passed will inevitably send inflation skyrocketing even higher in the coming months ahead. If and when the Fed does eventually begin raising interest rates, they project it will only be two quarter point rate hikes. That's half a percentage point in total. Inflation is currently running at 5%, its highest level since 2008. When you take current inflation into account, half a percentage point in rates means real interest rates will remain near historic negative lows. Even if inflation declines to 4%, 3% or the Fed's preferred target of 2%, half a percentage point hike in rates still means that real interest rates will remain near historically negative lows. That's the most important detail that's getting overlooked right now. Extraordinary times, they do create extraordinary opportunities. And right now, as traders, we are living in some of the most exciting and rewarding times ever in history. Banks and hedge funds are making multi-billions capitalizing on the week-to-week -week volatility, and it's not so different for the retail market. The majority of our clients at the Gold and Silver Club have already made in excess of six and seven figures this year, and we're only six months into the year. Volatility creates opportunity, and that is exactly what we thrive on as traders. We're seeing one of the greatest wealth transfers ever in history, and if all your you're doing is buying and holding in these markets, you will get crushed and get left with no results to show for your efforts. A long list of Wall Street banks from Goldman Sachs to Bank of America have been advising their clients to focus on the short term macro driven opportunities. In fact, so far this month at the Gold and Silver Club, we've banked over 6,000 points profit alongside our clients at the live trading room mentorship program. So for every one lot that you're trading, that's $60,000 of profit. For every 10 lots that you're trading, that's $600,000 of profit. We bank these profits across a number of highly lucrative macro driven opportunities, which have ranged from non-farm payrolls to CPI inflation data to pre and post FOMC meeting trade opportunities. Looking ahead, the Fed and inflation data will continue to dominate the trading markets into next week. The Federal Reserve will take front and centre stage again next week with Fed Chair Jerome Powell due to speak before the House on 
monetary policy and the economy. Traders will be monitoring Powell's every comment for clues into the central bank's June meeting and fine print of the policy statement. Traders will also want to see under what conditions the Fed will be looking at tapering or hiking rates in the future. Traders will be paying close attention to the Fed's preferred measure of inflation, personal consumption, expenditures data. Earlier this month, CPI inflation data jumped a sizzling 5% from a year earlier to its highest level since 2008. Meanwhile, core CPI data that rose 3.8% year over year, which is the sharpest increase since 1992. As you know, bull markets, they do not move up in a straight line. They will zigzag higher. And this, of course, presents savvy traders with an incredible flow of back-to-back -back lucrative opportunities. So with that, let's move over to the charts and we'll talk you through exactly what we're looking at here as we move into a new week. Firstly, let's start off here with the dollar index. So going into Wednesday's FOMC statement, we had five positions on the dollar. So this has meant the breakout to the upside that we've seen over the last few days has enabled us to capitalize on this run up higher with the dollar index. In fact, we haven't hit full profit target on this trade just yet. We remain long this market going into next week. But the dollar index is certainly one of the markets that you need to keep a very close eye on because if we see this pressure to the upside continue, Going into next week, this is where you're going to see a further pullback on the metals. On the flip side of that, if you do see the dollar start to run out of some steam here after three days of consecutive gains over Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, this is where it can set up for those buy opportunities on the metals as we go into next week. So then let's move it over to silver, palladium, copper, platinum and also gold. So first of all, let's have a look at silver here. So silver, as many of you know, we've continued to build positions since the end of March, beginning of April, continue to bank on strength and what this enables us to do is when we do get these large corrections to the downside, we are able to then build positions again at lower prices. So this enables you to add once you get these large sell offs, you can then start building your position out. So I would certainly look at this as a gift here. The recent sell offs that we've seen on the metals, ultimately nothing has fundamentally changed here for silver. We still have over six trillion of stimulus to be agreed in the USA, infrastructure spending, big push towards green energy and electric vehicles. And of course, silver at this time of year, as we get closer to the Basel III regulation and we move into the summer months, tends to be a favorable time of year for the metals. However, just be mindful that around these levels is where you could see some degree of stop hunting before you then start to see reversals. We're right back into the swing lows that we saw tested at the end of April here, where typically this is going to be a key area of liquidity. And also you want to to be mindful of the reversal points that we could get in the coming days on a number of other metals as well once the dollar starts to taper off. So remember again, once the dollar comes into resistance and starts to pull back, which might be at the beginning of next week, once you start to see that happen, this is where you will see a number of commodities take off to the upside. One of the trades that we've capitalized on multiple times over the last couple of weeks and even banking again before the FOMC statement, banked 1,100 points on this market. In total, we banked over 4,000 points on palladium in the last couple of weeks here basically ahead of the fomc statement we banked profits on palladium protected the trades and with the massive sell-off that we've seen to the downside here following on from that where we've just come out the remainder at entry price this now enables us to sniper in at much much lower prices so if you consider that palladium after the FOMC statement, it has sold off 3,700 points to the downside. Palladium just one month ago was trading at all-time highs above $3,000. It's now trading at 2,460 US dollars per ounce. This is absolutely a market that is on the radar as we go into next week, much like copper prices and also platinum prices as well. The velocity of the sell-offs that we've seen following on from the FOMC statement over Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, the last time we saw the markets this overextended on industrial metals was going back to March and April of 2020 after COVID-19 shocked the markets and after that we all know that commodity markets went on to break out to all-time highs in fact palladium prices platinum prices silver prices all went on to double in price 12 months later so I would certainly see these massive sell-offs that we're seeing right now as a gift here to sniper in at the lowest entries possible in order to take advantage of the subsequent slingshot moves higher as we progress throughout the summer and again this comes back to the point we've mentioned time and time again it is 
not a buy and hold market. This is a trader's market and you want to constantly make sure you're locking in those profits coming in and out the market regularly. This will make you far more profit than just long term buying and holding. The last week here is the best example of this where if you've locked in your profits as you've gone along over this year where palladium and copper prices were at all time highs just one month ago, gold and silver prices were at five month highs. You continue to lock in profits as you go. Then when you get an extreme sell off like we've seen over the last week, this gives you a fantastic opportunity and gift to buy in at much, much lower prices. This, of course, comes back down to having a research driven approach in the market. If you want to thrive and not just survive in this new trading landscape, then you need to adapt and utilize a professional research driven approach. We're going through an era of exponential change in these times of heightened volatility, rapidly surging inflation near to zero interest rates, the importance of having an essential income generating skill like trading has become a must have necessity. If 2020 has taught us anything, it's that you should never rely on just one income stream. Building multiple income streams is no longer just an option. It is a priority to make yourself recession proof and thrive in this era of change, not just survive. If you want to gain the ultimate edge to really supercharge your wealth in these fast moving markets, markets and highly lucrative conditions, then you need to trade like the hedge funds, the money managers, the institutions and utilize a professional research driven approach to the market, having access to the right data at the right time. It's the single greatest difference between ordinary and extraordinary results. The greater your data and intelligence, the greater your edge in navigating these fast moving markets with precision, accuracy and the highest levels of profitability. Trading like every other misguided retail trader out out there using outdated technical analysis and gimmicky technical indicators will just not work. Trading is a zero sum game. So there's always going to be someone on the opposite side of your trade. The majority of the time, it is the hedge funds, banks, money managers and institution that are making all the money in the market. And it's the retail traders using outdated technical strategies that are constantly getting chopped up FOMOing at the top and panic selling out at the lows. This is where you want to make sure that you are utilizing a research driven approach in the market, utilizing data, market intelligence, the daily, the weekly, the monthly, the quarterly cycles in the market, marry that up with the intermarket correlations, seasonality plays alongside the ratios in the market, capital flows, and of course, understanding the positioning from the hedge funds, banks, and money managers that will help you massively. So with that, if you would like to join our community of successful traders, learn the research driven approach to the market and join our professional mentorship program, there is a an opportunity for you to do so. As a member, you get access to our exclusive live trading room webinars. You get access to real time trade ideas, institutional research and market intelligence, as well as access to our private members academy website and also support and one to one mentoring. For more information, just go to www jointhelivetradingroom.com. The link is also below this report in the description. So just click on the link, make an application, and we will of course get in touch with you ASAP. And do make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you're always kept updated with all of the latest commodity reports.